Hello, thank you for joining me. Today I'm in Penn Woods in Buckinghamshire. Penn is the village between Amersham and Beaconsfield. There's also the village of Penn Street and this is where Penn Woods is. So we've just gone for a three mile walk around the woods. It's very pleasant, lots of varieties of different types of woodland from beech woodland, silver birches, there's a few non-native rhododendrons, there's also cattle grazing, so it's a very pleasant place to walk. And I've, so I've walked about three miles, I'm just coming to the end of my walk, and what we're heading for now is the Holy Trinity Church, known as the Church in the Woods. So as we come along here, it should soon start to loom at us through the trees. So what I thought we'd do is, seeing as the church is scheduled to be open today, it's a Sunday, um, in between services, we'll go and have a look round. So there we go, the church has revealed itself. So let's go and have a look. So. What happened is the church has close ties with the Earl and Countess of Howe who live in Penn House and it's thought that Queen Adelaide came here and when she saw this clearing here in the woods she said it would be a nice place to build a church so that's exactly what they did. They built what we'll see in a minute, we'll just go through the Lich Gate, a Gothic Revival church and it opened in 1849. So we're just going to go through this lich gate. Now this was the original main entrance in and out of the church. There is now another entrance which goes out to the village of Pentry. But originally people would have walked across from various other villages such as Holmer Green before they grew up. Holmer Green now has its own church. So I'm just closing the lich gate because we don't want any cattle that are grazing coming into the churchyard. So here we are. This is the churchyard. We've just come in the way, as I said people would have originally come in. So it's this beautiful Gothic Revival church. It's got a large spire, which is, I've been told is 150 feet high. I've seen this church quite a lot, because if you drive on the road from Amersham up to High Wycombe, you see that spire, and I have always wanted to come and have a look here, but I never have got round to it until today. It's been one of those places I keep thinking yeah, it would be really nice to go to, um, I, ha I have been to the Penn Woods before, but the church hasn't been open, so I thought, right, I must come up on a, on a Sunday one day, um, and that's today, and we'll have a look. So you can see it's a beautiful building, cruciform shape, so I thought we'll walk around it this way, and then what we'll do, we'll have a quick look inside. We won't talk too much, because there is quite a few people about, I don't want to be you know, disturbing too much. But we'll have a look, and then we'll come back outside. See how it goes. So if you come round here, I'm just trying to give you the widest pan I can by going around the edge of the, the graveyard. There you are, you can see the building. So the village of Penn Street is kind of over there. There's some of the newer houses and then down there there's a couple of pubs and a cricket pitch. Um, and there was people playing cricket earlier. So I took some pictures, I walked around the woods, so I'll post all them just after the video. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna walk through, there's a lot of people having tea and cake, which I think I will do when I've finished making the video. I'm gonna walk through them into the church and we'll have a little look in the church. So let's go up to the church. They sell like cards and that you can buy. I might buy that actually. I can't remember a picture of the church. I'm going here and now coming into the churches. The thing I wanted to show you behind me is that painting there. So, this painting this is a copy of the Transfiguration by Raphael. It used to hang in Curzon Street Chapel in London and the real one can be seen in the Vatican Museum in Rome so I'll show you a look at that. And then if you look behind us, I won't walk up there because there's quite a few people 
having tea and cake while taking pictures. There's the rest of the cruciform church. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm just going to go outside and finish looking at the rest of the church. Now I'm going to go and get my tea and cake. So we're going back round kind of to where we started. Um, it's interesting how there's this, this tree here, this coniferous tree. If you look there, I've been told that's the lion. They say it's, you can see it really does look like a lion. What's happened is it's been struck by lightning. The tree's grown like that. They've cut it off, but it's now left to look like a lion. So go back towards the lich gate over there. I'm gonna, well, I'm not actually gonna quite yet go and carry on my walk, so I'm gonna go and have, a, have some uh, tea and cake, but then I should be coming back here to finish my walk around Penn Wood. So if you're ever in this part of Buckinghamshire, as I said, we're not far from Amersham, we're not far from Beaconsfield, it's a lovely part of Buckinghamshire. Do come and visit this church and come on a Sunday in the afternoon, you can get tea and cake. So thank you very much for watching and goodbye.